when the earliest cells broke down sugars to obtain energy. They used glycolysis, which does not require oxygen. And appreciable levels of oxygen were not present in the Earth's atmosphere for half of its history. Early bacteria evolved globin proteins, which can perform a number of functions uh, as they do in bacteria today. Globins and hemes thus predate the split between uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and globins and hemoglobin are widely uh, found in uh, unicellular organisms, in plants, in fungi, and in vertebrates. As globins evolved, gene duplications would produce multiple different globin genes, and organisms could then possess multiple globin genes. One duplication produced myoglobin found in muscle and the hemoglobin found in blood. In invertebrates, hemoglobin can float in uh, the hemolymph or be found inside cells. In early fish, it was restricted to inside cells, inside red blood cells. Otherwise, it would be filtered at the kidneys and lost. Additional gene duplications occurred prior to the evolution of the jawed vertebrates so that there was an alpha and beta globin. And the hemoglobin found in human red blood cells is composed of two alpha chains and two beta chains. These then form the quaternary structure with four subunits where the heme unit binds oxygen reversibly. It can bind oxygen and then release it while the globin portion can bind carbon dioxide. Additional duplications occurred to produce a gene family of alpha genes and a gene family of beta genes. Some of these are inactivated in some lineages. For example, the eta globin gene is functional in the embryos of hoofed animals, but is inactive in human embryos. It is a non-functional pseudogene. As evolution and speciation continues, the amino acid sequence of the protein hemoglobin continually changes in different lineages one can actually determine a genetic family tree based on degrees of genetic relatedness by comparing amino acid structures of proteins such as those of hemoglobin. 